Hi everybody, it's Mr. Olson and Mr. O'Leary from the Marine Science Station for today's Creature Feature. And we're going to let Mr. O'Leary take it away. Alright guys, so the creature for today's feature is going to be the striped burrfish. Now striped burrfish are extremely common here uh, in uh, the coastal waters of the state of Florida. But they're found all the way from Maine all the way down to Brazil. Um, super common here though, uh, especially in seagrass beds. Very common in seagrass beds. Um, when you if I let him swim around here a little bit, you might notice that he kind of swims a little bit differently than most other fish. A lot of fish will swim with their whole body kind of doing an S shape. These guys just kind of coordinate all their fins to move together. They even seem to sometimes use these gill openings like little jets to kind of give themselves some propulsion. You see them kind of move in there. Now you'll also notice his eye. Uh, these guys are predators, they're, they're visual predators, so their eyesight is very good. And if you look at his mouth there, you'll see that he kind of has a beak. So they are specialists at eating really, really, really tough things. Anything with a, anything with a, uh, a shell like uh, crustaceans, um, shrimps. They really seem to like hermit crabs. And uh, anything else that's kind of hard and crabby like that, but they'll even eat, uh, according to some of the literature, um, soft corals like sea whips and other uh, gorgonids. Now you notice his spines. These spines stick out all the time, so that's one way you can tell that he's a burrfish. Other uh, types of puffers and puffer allies, if they have spines, a lot of times the spines kind of lay flat against their bodies unless they're puffed up. But these guys have spines that stick up all the time. This striped coloration is great camouflage for their favorite habitat, which is seagrass beds. And... The juveniles, even though they do have the same kind of striped pattern, um, can have a, a lot of different coloration. They can be a little bit darker. That probably helps them to blend in with the, uh, with the seagrass beds as well. Now, uh, these are in the kind of puffer fish group. And so they do puff up as kind of a last resort. It's uh, very stressful for them to puff up. Um, also notice on these juveniles, they have these kind of little fleshy tendrils on their heads. Um, there's a spine under that that is uh, present in the adults. Coloration also um, that you'll notice is these big spots. Uh, those large spots are thought to be eye spots uh, mimics, similar to what we saw on the skate in one of our previous videos. Now. We're talking about the mouth of these things. So I brought, a, uh, I brought in a model here. So if you look at the mouth there, you can see that all the teeth are fused into a beak. One top beak and one bottom uh, kind of uh, dental pad. This kind of distinguishes them from other puffers because other, other uh, true puffers will have kind of a split here and here. So this is not a burrfish model though, this is a porcupine fish. You can see how here at the back, the spines kind of lay down, whereas on the burrfish, they stick up all the time. So we find juveniles and even you know, very, very small examples of these guys here in our estuaries back up, uh, you know, up to the place where uh, the two rivers kind of meet. Um, so they can tolerate salinities down to seven parts per thousand. Um, and we don't know a whole lot about their reproduction. So uh, scientists uh, still have not quite figured that out. We do know that their eggs, when they lay them, they kind of sink to the bottom. And uh, they don't stick to anything. They just kind of roll around. So others, others in their group spawn offshore. But around here we find their babies in water that is really, really brackish, even almost fresh. So that's still kind of a mystery that needs to be figured out.
All right. Well, that concludes today's creature feature with Mr. O'Leary and the striped burfish. Wash your hands, folks. Stay safe and healthy. See you next time. <laughs>